This is me, waiting to go on stage alongside my fellow athletes at an international bodybuilding competition. I was about to flex what little muscles I had How you doing? in front of thousands of people. The problem is, I'm not a bodybuilder. What else should I do, guys? This is the story of how I managed to take advantage of some very unique circumstances. There is nothing to suggest that I can't enter. To become a part of the PCA universe bodybuilding competition. But I wasn't just there to compete. I'm gonna roll these up if that's okay. I was there to win. What's your go-to type of chicken? Through a very specific routine of coaching thongs and croissants. It's bulking season. Could I leave with some silverware? Your master universe champion is. Well, we'll get to that. Our story all starts with a paler, more naive Max behind my laptop in my kitchen. Bodybuilding. Let's talk about it. As you can probably tell, I'm not a bodybuilder, although the beach is that way. It's nothing. There is a channel that I'm a big, big fan of, Hamish and Andy, who entered a New York bodybuilding competition. I want to do the same, but I want to crank it up a notch. I think I have discovered how I can. The PCA Universe bodybuilding competition that is being held in a couple of months' time, which I should add is Europe's number one bodybuilding and fitness competition. There's a registration form, a payment. I think that's it. They basically are implying under the idea that nobody would be silly enough to enter without having trained a lot, but they haven't put in contingency for silly billies. This guy. They do have some rules, which is fair enough. Thongs are not permitted. I've been saying this for years. Athletes should be free of body hair. I am about as hairy as a roll-on deodorant. There is one rule that is worrying me, which is the head judge has, in exceptional cases, the authority to remove an athlete if it is felt that the athlete has not reached a basic minimum standard. That is the only thing that worries me. But at that point, I'm on stage. At that point, I'm performing. I think this is all okay. I just need to adhere to the rules and... I just need to pay my money to enter. I think I'm gonna be competing in the PCA Universe bodybuilding competition. I filled out the application form, paid my registration and membership fees, and I was signed up to compete. In a matter of weeks, I'll be walking out on stage, flexing with some of the best bodybuilders in the world. But on closer inspection of the rules, it seemed like there would be a lot more to competing than I had anticipated. A lot more. On the day, I would have to complete a set of mandatory poses for the judges. So in order to make sure I knew all of these poses before the event, I would need a coach. And my coach would be Leon. Hello mate, are you Leon? I am indeed. Meet Leon, a competitive bodybuilder, a coach, and a man who doesn't seem to know how to wear his trousers. He was a very welcoming guy and he would be teaching me the compulsory poses I would need to know for the competition. I've been to the gym a few times, but not seriously. So I'm basically all in your hands. So firstly, you want to obviously strip down so yeah. you can see your legs, see the upper half. And for the first time in the process, I was beginning to feel a little bit self-conscious. Here we go. This is what you're working with, Leon. But I pushed the fear to the back of my mind and we got straight to work. And I don't think Liam was particularly enthusiastic about my chances. How long have you got until the... It's next Sunday. Next Sunday? Yeah. Okay. This is the, the rig. It's the rig. It's more of a disused oil rig. But bless him, we ploughed on through and he showed me the most famous poses in the bodybuilding world. This. Oh, the magician. magician. What's it called? Now, remembering the intricacies of all these poses was more difficult than I had imagined. I've been arrested. And thankfully, Leon had some choice phrases to jog my memory. Almost trying to point yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. So in a picture like someone's trying to push a pencil in there and you're trying to stop them from getting a pencil. Oh, yeah. After feeling a little more comfortable flexing with my kit off, I even started putting in a few requests. Was Arnie famous for a particular pose? This pose. Yes! Max Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Oh, 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 I do have crap. We posed for over an hour. I was starting to realise that this was also going to be a lot tougher than I had expected. And that's essentially all your mandatory poses. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. What, what have you got yourself into now? I know. I know. Although I seemed very jolly, I started to have some serious misgivings about my upcoming competition. Just had my posing session with Leon, and we have to go on stage in some bodybuilding trunks, which I need to buy, but this is all getting a bit real. Like, even when I was doing the stuff with Leon, I just kind of felt a bit, basically just felt quite self-conscious, which is quite rare for, for me. Just got to come to the realization that, hey, I'm going to be part of the universe competition. Hey. Yeah. Let's get the trunks and we'll, we'll go from there. There was no time to dwell on these worries, however, as my competition trunks had arrived. Are these for me? These trunks are mandatory at every single event, so I had to wear them. And after trying them on, 
Oh my god, these are tiny. Wearing these is going to be a hate crime. I was even more worried about rule number nine. The head judge might not kick me off for not having an athletic enough build, but he's definitely kicking me off when I show my left body. The day of the PCA Universe Bodybuilding Champs had arrived, and I got to Coventry bright and early. Where's the competition? That way. <laughs> Come on then. The competition was being held in the Coventry Arena. I was sad that the first time I was going to be performing in an arena wasn't for stand-up comedy, but I was here with a job to do. Am I a junior bodybuilder? I'm a big boy. As I waited for registration to open, I tucked into my pre-match meal. It's bulking season. <laughs> Two hours before I go on stage, <laughs> started prep. Delicious croissant. The reason I was there two hours early was because I needed to get my performance spray tan. Can I come through now? Or do you need to register first? All athletes get a tan before going on stage as the bright lights need to highlight their bulges. There are two coats of tan, and my word, are they quite punchy. Hello. Hello, my darling. How, How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Max. Hello, Max. I'm well, Helen. Hello, Helen. Right, she's taking off and away we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll these up if that's OK. Hi, Helen got me into all sorts of positions while she gave me the Trump special. I spent the time feeling a bit awkward and engaging in some spectacular small talk. How do you get into this line of work? I then dried out in front of the fans before waiting for my second coat, which was to be put on an hour later. Now the eagle-eyed amongst you will spot something that I had very much missed on the day. My posing trunks were a lot smaller than my boxer shorts. And I was getting my fake tan in my boxer shorts. But that was a problem for future Max, and present Max had to turn like a rotisserie chicken to dry out. The convention centre started to fill up, and we had a few of the early competitors all strutting their stuff on stage. Even though my tan had now set, I was feeling incredibly self-conscious. There was something that I could do about this though, and it was called the pump-up room. So I'm out here. Although I didn't look like the other competitors, everyone at the event was incredibly welcoming of me and my unique body shape. Those, though, I don't have them, though. But of course, it was all going to be down to what the head judge would think. We're looking for big shoulders. Small waist coming in. How about you? I'm feeling pretty big. Lots of breath through the back. Thanks, broken. With the blood pumping through my veins, my false bravado was at an all-time high. I reckon you wiped the floor. Yeah, I said I. But my time on stage was fast approaching, and I had one big tanning-related problem. The tan line is quite severe. Uh, that's the tan line. With my embarrassing pale patch, the nerves really started to kick in. And I didn't feel any more at ease when I met the other gentlemen in my lineup. How's your preparation been for this for this comp? Tough. 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 This is all a stark reminder that I could very well be kicked off stage by the head judge. This might not have been a good idea after all. <laughs> the wait was over. The time had come. You three are up next. Months of preparation had led to this moment, and it was sinking in that I was waiting to go on stage at an international bodybuilding competition with a boxer brief shaped tan line and an oily bottom. The stage was set. The crowd wait with bated breath. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on stage Neil, Nathan, Max and Alex! Immediately, I heard the crowd was so supportive and I started to feel weirdly comfortable in my own flabby bronze skin. Round of applause for all competitors. Gentlemen, a front double biceps. We went through the mandatory poses. But the big part of the competition was to come. This is a 60 second period in which you can freestyle to the judges under some hardcore electronic music. Unfortunately, the music is copyrighted, so for your viewing pleasure, here is the 60 second pose down with a copyright free soundtrack. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have you 60 second pose down! I'd flex my muscles and I was proud of my performance. But remember, 
I was here to win, and there was one category in which I had a pretty good shot. Your PCA, Mr. Universe, unique physique champion is 335 Max Marsh! Your unique physique champion. Now, of course, this was clearly the PCA giving me a supportive pat on the back. Which wasn't surprising considering how supportive everyone had been on my journey. Although I left the competition not looking as muscular as my fellow competitors who are so dedicated to their craft, I had left a winner for just giving it a go.